Investors were disappointed on Friday morning with a weaker than expected payroll report. Uh, expectations had been high heading into the report because we've been really enjoying the best pace of job creation since the 1990s. The payroll headline number came in at 142,000. This was below the 243,000 that we've averaged over the last five months. Uh, there were some details in the report that suggest that it could be revised higher in the months to come, probably closer to around 180,000 jobs. This is related to collection issues around the start of the school year and other concerns. Uh, but still, it's a little bit weak, um, but probably not representative of, of a significant downturn in the job market, probably just a one-month fluke. Uh, but there are probably more, more importantly, the details within the report, I think, would give a silver lining if you know where to look. For more healthy growth over the long term, we really need to see wages normalize. Uh, and again, we, we would like to see it above 3%. Right now, in August, it was about 2.5%, and it's very slowly creeping higher. If we continue to see a narrowing of the labor market, uh, continue to see a drop in the unemployment rate, and continue to see the labor force participation rate remain low, uh, which is being driven, I think, in large part by uh, retiring baby boomers, so it's really being driven by demographics. We should finally see that 3% year-over-year weight rate and wages, and that in turn should translate into some higher retail sales and really push the economy up uh, into the months and years to come.